not be the same. A few people laughed. A few people cried. Most people were silent. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing safe and fine. Yes, the father of atomic bomb, it's J. Robert Oppenheimer, the man who changed the entire history. Let's know more about him. Stick along with me until the end of the video and do watch the entire video with me. Born in April 22, 1904 in New York City, his parents were German Jewish immigrants. A graduate from Harvard University, he enrolled in the College of Cambridge, England and worked on his atomic research at the Cavendish Laboratory in 1925. He later worked with the Max Born at Gothingham University where he continued to the quantum molecular theory known as the Born-Oppenheimer method and got his doctorate. In 1930, Oppenheimer along with Albert Einstein and Leo Szilard believed that the Nazi could develop a nuclear weapon. After the invasion of Poland in 1939, in 1942, Oppenheimer was selected to harness the atomic energy for the US Army. This became the famous Manhattan Project based in Los Alamos, New Mexico. This was a race for power to make a powerful nuclear bomb before Adolf Hitler. Along with Oppenheimer, there were many other scientists who were on a mission to document fission process involving uranium-235. This project was allotted 6,000 USDs, but the budget grew up to 2 million USDs in 1945. These bombs were first tested in the World War, and two bombs were deployed, one in Hiroshima and another one in Nagasaki, Japan, thus ending the World War II. Oppenheimer became the chairman of Journal Adversary Committee of the Atomic Energy Commission in October 1949. The effect of the bomb is still seen in many parts of these cities even today. It is said that Oppenheimer witnessed this destruction with his own eyes and was recorded say the Hindu scripture, Now I have become the death, the destroyer of the worlds. He took it upon himself to stop the use of nuclear weapon being used again in the world. He believed his hands were covered in blood of the people affected in the blast. He visited President Harry S. Truman to place international controls of nuclear weapons. He opposed the development of the hydrogen bomb. He was stripped of his security clearance and later lost his job during the McCarthy era. He was blacklisted for having ties with Soviet Union and was claimed to be a spy, which wasn't true. However, these speculations still continue. He was later awarded the Enrico Fermi Award by President Lyndon B. Johnson in December 1963. He was haunted by the scandal till his death at Princeton, New Jersey on February 18, 1967. He is still today known as the father of the atomic bomb. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. What do you think about the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer? Do let me know in the comment section. Let me know what would you like to see in the next coming video. If you are an online gamer and like play online games, I have a cool website given in the description box. Click on the link, it's my friend web page, you will enjoy it for sure. For cool face mask at best price, please click on the link given below. If you enjoyed watching this video, smash that like button. In case you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe it. Press that bell icon to stay up to date. Until next time, stay safe, peace out.